Hello and Malta, we're going to do a little video on shellac. S-H-E-L-L-A-C. Shellac is a varnish and this is one of the oldest varnishes. Some of the old, other, other old varnishes are from pine trees. By chance in Malta there is a pine tree called the Sandarac tree, which is a small stunted pine tree which does also make a varnish. So, so in Malta, hundreds of years ago, they had varnish as I say, from pine trees and import on, from import, imported shellac. Shellac is what they used to make nail varnish out of. And it, it is, I'm afraid, an excretion from a beetle. The lac beetle grows in the tropics and where it lives in the trees, it makes an excretion and this excretion is crystalline and the lac beetle covers the branch in this excretion to make it its home in the breeding area and the lac farmers, there's such, such a thing as a lac farmer, would uh, scrape the branches and collect this, this excretion and they would collect it along with the beetles and the process requires, unfortunately, the killing of the beetles because it was all boiled up together in a big cauldron and then it was drained off and separated. So, uh, historically, the lac farming was forced labour and in places like Java, for example, uh, it was one of the crops like tobacco or sugar requiring enslaved labour. So it's not a very nice thing, really. Now, I'm mentioning shellac because 90% of antique furniture has got shellac on it, and 90% of antique pictures have got shellac on the canvas. And it is what the picture dealers used to use to cover the canvases. And what it used to do, it would, would revive a ordinary looking oil by making it have a wet look and it would also give it a, a browny, sludgy colour, which would mask any repainting or retouching or repairs or tears. It's quite viscous. If you want it to be viscous, you can mix it so it's syrupy. So it was very useful and inexpensive. And uh, nowadays, of course, you, you have got shellac still, and you have got um, all sorts of modern varnishes made of oils and various different things. Some of some varnish are water-based and you have stains and you have fillers and all these modern, modern things. But shellac is still available. And in a place like Malta, you'll find in the ironmongery shops, branded shellac, sometimes called button polish, sometimes called French polish. And you'll sometimes find uh, in the old places of Malta, they will sell you bottles of um, shellac in milk, in, in milk bottles or, or, or plastic bottles, homemade shellac, where they buy the flakes, import the flakes and mix it up themselves. And the, the, the solvent for shellac is, is methylated spirits. The um, colour is, is put into the spirit so people don't drink it by mistake, that's why it's pink. So nowadays in Malta you can get regular shellac, dry, or Blonde shellac dry. Blonde shellac is widely used where the storer, for example, doesn't want to discolour the item. They want it purely to make a shine. So blonde shellac has got a colour. That's the like caramel. And they will use that, for example, on gilded picture frames, traditionally and still. And I'll show you what blonde shellac looks like against a white background. So, because it's soluble with maths, you can ch change the consistency. You can have it very, very thinly mixed, or you can have it really syrupy if you want it to. So that's blonde shellac, not a lot of colour in it. Now, regular shellac has got a colour to it, and that's desired. It's one of the reasons you find some muddy colour on all this multi furniture. So, the 
The shellac flakes are very, very thin and sticky really. You blow, they blow everywhere. Back to the regular shellac and you mix it with methylated spirits and it just dissolves. So fundamentally it's 50-50 with maths, roughly speaking, but as I say you can um, change it. This, this was only, this, I've only just mixed this in the last half an hour. I'm not sure how brown it will be. You can see it's got a colour to it. Those little bits will dissolve away. Got a lovely smell, I've got to say. A beautiful smell. So that's that shellac. Um, it dries very quickly, and when it's dry, you can add another coat. If it doesn't dry quickly, you can use a hairdryer, and it will dry. And it doesn't have a tail-off drying period, like I'm saying, all based varnish, which takes days to dry. Once it's dry, it's dry, and it's. Uh, dries dead flat, it shrinks slightly, it dries shiny. You can use wire wool to make it shinier or wire wool to make it less shiny. Uh, it's very, very versatile stuff. And uh, again, if you if you were doing old, an, old, an old wool painting 50 years ago, 100 years ago, which is flaking, they, they would use the shellac. It would hold all the flakes on and the, the darkness would uh, unify, the, any, as I say, any repairs or any, any retouching. I don't think there's anything else I need to say about shellac. It's a very curious thing. You have to work quite, quite quite fast with it. If you put it on something and you want to paint, make a, a finish, you can't go back over it without uplifting the layer previously because it is soluble with, with, uh, with meths. Thanks for having a look.